being an artist is the opportunity to be able to get up every morning and discover something and find a whole new world that didn't even exist before. first stroke of the brush really is what tells me what the whole painting is going to be about. I don't really care where I start on a canvas. I just start making abstract shape and then start seeing what it defines. At that point, I just like to carry through and compose the whole canvas as I'm watching the whole thing unfold in front of me. It's kind of a great feeling to not really know what exists before I start and to watch it develop right in front of my own eyes. Where the painting ends and the music begins, I'm never quite sure. One can't seem to exist without the other. I wish they could sometimes. I've often tried to do both at the same time, but it never quite works out that way. When I'm not doing this, I like to get outside. This world outside my studio door is way more amazing than anything I can ever create in my studio or ever hope to. But it's a great exhilaration for me to get out and breathe the air, see the sea. The gallery, just a few blocks from my studio, provides a creative venue for the arts and music in my community. There's always something going on with local friends and visitors around. <laughs> started because of my essential tremors. I, I, first of all, I think ripping it is different. You know, it makes sure. it makes me kind of use my muscles different. And then it's stable, so when I put it down on the paper, it stays there. You know, it's not vibrating all over the place. And I can move from there. I used, you can see by my style, I, I, I move very quickly, too, so I like to, like, anticipate where I'm going to put paint. Boom. And Because then when I start moving, then there's no vibration. So I move very quickly, but I have to know where I'm moving to. So, so it's all, it's all. And, and it's amazing to me that, you know, having tremors, which sometimes can be very, very bad, you know, I really can't, you know, connect one thing to another, that coming up with different ways of using that to create art have, have made my whole style. There's some nice paint. This is something that's really the most fun, is just finding, finding images. They make, making abstract shapes and finding out what they might be. Of course, it's going to be another beautiful dancing girl right now, but, but this is how you find them. You have no clue. You have no clue where they were before. You're not even, you're not planning this, just kind of coming up with, with with uh, the shapes and decide who they are, what they're doing, why they're doing it. You can do that later, but right now I'm just making shape. I've got one thing on my mind. When 
you don't have an idea what you're going to paint today, you don't quite have the inspiration, pick up some, some India ink and a block of wood and start looking for it. You get it, you can say, okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. I'm going to go with it today. There she is. That one's got a shoulder. Maybe she needs some hair. There she is. I wanted to talk about this, the, you know, you know, just how I get ideas, you know, from um, a painting. You know, we were in a restaurant. Remember, we were in the restaurant and the uh, uh, the woman tripped and, and spilled spilled the martini. And you know, I just see that. I think, well, that would be a lot of fun in a painting. And then it kind of transpired into trying to tell the story of the martini spilling into the, the the person at the table next to its martini and just bringing this this whole whole part of it into it to give it some kind of energy. So that's that's uh, a, a big part of where the subjects come from. It's just you know going out and living a little bit of life, hanging out in the world, going out with your friends, being at a party finding all the martini glasses on the table in case there's a little bit left in it for you. Ah, here's one right up here. Do you want to add a little more color to them? There we go. That's, that's kind of bringing that up really nice. Right, there we go. Right, some paint. She needs a little brighter yellow. Well, I don't know, people say, well, what's with all the women? And, um, you know, I go to parties and go out with our friends, and uh, that's who I'm watching most of the time. I don't know, you know, what other people are doing, so that's where I find my expression. I see the most color, I see all the patterns, all the styles, all, all the sensuality that goes on, and when you combine it with food and funny stories, it just seems to all work out. I like there to be humor in the paintings, and I, I, I like the paintings to be uh, sensuous and attractive, be bold and in your face, and yet at the same time just kind of, uh, you know, ha have this serenity to them too. You know, the characters kind of like are at peace with one another. Uh, this, this whole painting here, I mean, it has the whole martini fall thing going, but, it, you know, it, it's also got this whole serious side of it with the, with the cake. And it doesn't look serious, but it's really all these naked men on the cake, you know, interacting with the ladies at the table. So the guys are kind of hanging out on the cake and, um, you know, that'll be all finished up soon. I hope, I hope to have this in the gallery in another week or so. But uh, it's, I just have fun, you know, it's like making a movie. I composing the painting into this whole frame of a story. Thank you. When I was young, I thought if I could paint like Picasso with the soul of Chagall, I would certainly find my nirvana. But for now, I'm content to be right where I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that other guy's yeah. 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 yeah.